Okay, so I got a message from Munker the other day uh, about a new build. And uh, if you have a look on my channel and just type Munker, you'll find there's loads of things that Munker has built uh, and loads of operating systems and various different things that won't normally work. Munker has got to work on the Pi 4 and uh, definitely been a very, very big asset to the Pi 4. Now, this new one is very impressive. So if I type in RetroPi Wiki and go to the home page. So this is where we get all the information about RetroPie. And scroll down to GameCube and click on it. You can see here, uh, this is only for x86 builds, not the Raspberry Pi. And if we skip back and we do the same to the Wii, there you go, x86 builds, not the Raspberry Pi. Right, so let's close this down and let's boot up 64-bit RetroPie. So I'm using a micro SD card, 16 gig Magix. Uh, and you can see here, well, there's another, it's a 128 gig micro SD card, which has got the ROMs on. Uh, it's one that I often experiment with RetroPie. So it's just starting up now. You can see it's just starting to load all the ROMs that are in there, 27 systems. And if I grab my controller and just sort of flick through, you can see that Wii comes up now. So I've got a couple of games in here. Uh, although I haven't got a Wii controller configured, um, but uh, yeah, Sega Saturn and uh, PlayStation PSP. And the one that I was really looking forward to is Nintendo GameCube. So let's try a bit of Kelly Slater's Pro Surfer. And if I press a button very quickly, uh, it will launch into this, uh, which gives you various different options. Now, the only thing I've changed on here is the uh, default video mode. So select default video mode for Dolphin is, uh, it was defaulting to 1920 by 1080, but I've dropped it right down to 720 by 480, four by three. So let's launch that. And I've been really impressed by all the intros. So the sound and the videos and everything else all seems pretty good. I'm pressing the button quite quickly. I'll let it play a little bit of this. But yeah, all of this I think is probably the best I've seen on Pi. And I haven't played around with any of the settings yet, apart from that video mode. Uh, I am overclocked to 2.2. Uh, I'll show the config.txt in a minute. So press start to get into this. All of this is nice and smooth, not glitchy either. So let's just get in and surf. I'm not sure what the button is to stand up yet, but once I'm standing, I'm all right. So if I just hammer the buttons. So all of this seems to work all right as well. Here we go. So the audio goes a bit choppy in this bit, but, uh, but it's still fine. Right, so if I hammer the buttons, there you go, so I'm up. Let's get a bit of speed. And as you can see, uh, although the audio is a bit choppy, uh, it is performing pretty well. Oh, oh, oh. Let's get a bit of speed, get away from that. I do like this game. It is enjoyable, let's land backwards. And if I can, oh no, no, not that way. There we go, and let's get back in the wave, see if we can risk it a bit. Oh, it wasn't very close, was it? Oh, nearly. Anyway, so you can see that that's looking pretty impressive. This is the best I've seen it on the Pi, and the fact that it's running in RetroPi, so it's super, super easy. So I booted back into Twister just to show you my overclock settings. Uh, so if I call up the boot folder, so that'll be this one, and go to config.txt. And the only things I've added or changed are these. So over voltage of eight, arm frequency 2200, and GPU frequency 750. I haven't changed anything else. This is all as it came. So if I close these down, so if I just show you the SD card that I've got the ROMs on. So this is in a little SD card reader. It's one I just use for testing RetroPie. Uh, so if I go to 128 gig, and I've got all sorts of things in here because I use it for transferring things. RetroPie mount, ROMs, and the folder is GC. That's where all my GameCube games are. And I guess I must have a Wii one as well. Yeah, so there's Wii with the two ROMs in there. But ever the optimist, I also have a PS2 folder as well. 
so you can see I've got ROMs in there, but obviously PS2 isn't on Pi at this stage. You never know. I don't think it's ever going to happen, but I put it in there ages ago. But I also use this uh, to test on my M1 Mac, and I keep meaning to do that with a PlayStation 2 emulator. So Monka shared this with me on Google Drive and uh, also Monka said it was okay for me to share it with others. So I'll put a link either in the description or a pinned comment if you want to download this and try it out. So if I copy that into my browser. It'll open up this link. So RetroPie Arch RPI4 dot image dot tar dot GZ. Now, the first couple of times I just tried writing this with Raspberry Pi Imager to an M.2 drive and to an SD card, but then I realized I needed to unzip this. I found that Twister OS didn't unzip it for some reason, and the same with Raspberry Pi OS. In the end, I ended up using Ubuntu Mate, and I'll just switch over to that. So the way I got it to work, uh, this is a USB 128 gig USB stick, so if I open that up, the file I copied over to here, and I right-clicked and open within Grandpa. And this bit takes a little while. And this really does take a long time. I just left it before. Um, but uh, I wonder if in Twister OS and Raspberry Pi OS, I just didn't leave it long enough. Because it didn't really give you any good indication that it was unpacking the file. So maybe I sort of got impatient and, and uh, tried something else. But yeah, this has been a minute or so, and it's still doing this. And you can see while it's still doing that, uh, this image, so the zipped image that you download is 2.6 gig. The unpacked version is about seven. Is 6.2. Ah, there you go. So that one's finished in the background. So all I did was I just left clicked and I dragged it to the desktop. I'm not going to do it now because obviously I've already got one there. So let's go back into 64-bit RetroPie. Now I've just looked and the GameCube is actually mostly 640 by 480. Uh, and so I figure I'd try that as a resolution because that might get me a little bit more performance. So let's launch Smuggler's Run. Press the button when it's starting up. Select default video mode and drop down to 640 by 480 which is the lowest. And let's pick that top one there. And then launch. Okay, so this is 640 by 480. I've definitely noticed that things like the startup screens and the videos play better in this than I've had on anything else on the Pi. Uh, so Smuggler's Missions, let's go with that. Sounds all right in this bit. Menus are nice and snappy. And I don't know a way of accessing more of the controls. Um, so in the RetroPie menu it says, I think it's Select and X. Uh, I've tried all sorts of button combinations and I can't seem to get any extra access to maybe something like frame skip, which might give me a bit, bit better performance. So audio's choppy again here. And so maybe there'd be a setting for the audio because the overall gameplay, yes, it is a bit slow. It, go, it goes faster after a while. Um, but, uh, but the overall gameplay is reasonably smooth. The break is probably, yeah, that one's break. There we go. And uh, yeah, so so I think the handling, yes, I can see it's it's a bit slow, but um, some GameCube games are obviously going to be better than others. So some, some use less resources. That's a nice crash. Uh, so let's quit out of that. So Hulk's usually really good, but I, last time I tried this, it didn't load, but I'll try it now. I've got it on 640 by 480. Yeah, so it gets stuck at this point, and I think when it gets stuck, I can't even quit out of it. Oh, no, I can. So Auto Model Easter. So things like the intros tend to work pretty well. Yeah, nice and smooth, no stuttering on the audio. So if you download this, uh, let me know in the comments what games you've had success with, uh, and also if there's any other settings or if you've been able to access more of the settings menus. Yeah, I can hear the audio's a bit stuttery on here, but it was on Smuggler's Run and it was on Kelly Slater, so maybe there's an audio setting that we can change uh, that might help. Yeah, so this, this is very slow. Uh, I haven't tried this on, uh, say, one of Monka's builds with Manjaro uh, with the standalone Dolphin emulator in it yet. Yeah, it's definitely too slow to play. Let's have a look at it in Wii. I haven't tried N64 yet. N64 might be an interesting one. Here we are. So let's try 
Dave Mirror BMX Challenge. Um, I don't have the controller properly set up for this, but just to show that it launches and uh, starts off a Wii game. Again, all the intros are nice and smooth. So I can get to this bit, but because uh, I haven't got a two button, it's not going to let me go any further. So I need to investigate that a bit further. And I also found um, Atari Jaguar was better performance than I think I've had before. Atari Jaguar is a terrible one to emulate for. Uh, in fact, let's go for a super low video mode. I can't remember. Uh, yeah, so I can also do 640 by 480 on this as well. So definitely that faster than I've had this running before. And it is actually playable although really difficult and the track is so hard to see what's going on but uh, I like the way it, it uh, the track sweeps around and goes up and down and everything uh, for a Jaguar game this was pretty impressive back in the day and it has got some really quite nice simulation style handling on it <laughs> so thanks very much to Munka for sending me this uh, it is very impressive uh, especially to see GameCube on there and uh, let me know how you get on with this if you download it from the link and uh, if you've got any settings or games that work particularly well in it. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.